Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Bale Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery. I-70 holiday traffic was busier than last Christmas, but slower than last weekend. Almost 101,000 vehicles traveled the Eisenhower Johnson Tunnels Friday through Sunday. That's up 8% from last year, down 21% from last weekend. Yesterday was almost twice as busy as Sunday, with nearly 50,000 cars on the corridor. That's the busiest single day since September. A deadly avalanche near Berthoud Pass yesterday killed a 44-year-old snowboarder and caught three others. One other person was fully buried but rescued. Efforts to revive the victim were unsuccessful. This is the first avalanche fatality of winter in Colorado and the third close call in four days at Berthoud. Also yesterday in a different zone, a touring party triggered a large slide near Rush Chutes. It almost took out another party below them. They heard trees snapping like twigs. On Friday, a skier got cliffed out above nitro chutes. Search and rescue spent several hours evacuating him. A helicopter was on standby. Then on Southside, Loveland Pass yesterday, skiers triggered a large slide. No one was buried or injured. Local avalanche danger is moderate today. It will be considerable tomorrow with new snow overnight. Crystal 93 News is looking back on the biggest stories of 2022. In late July, the Forest Service ordered Keystone to halt construction on a new chairlift to Bergman Bowl. Here's our report. This week on the State of Summit. Even if it's a mistake and it's already been done, we have an obligation under the law to go back and analyze that and see how that affects the whole project. That was Scott Fitzwilliams, Forest Supervisor on the White River National Forest. Keystone's Bergman Bowl expansion is shut down for an illegal construction road built on Alpine Tundra. Specifically, the decision document we signed and the analysis identified that as something that was not supposed to be there. The Forest Service has been on site there since July 6th for analysis of the damage. There's actually a set process for how you go about a situation when something like this happens. It's not the first time in the history of the Forest Service. So we get on the ground, we see what's going on, and then we do an analysis to determine what's different on the ground from what we said in the environmental analysis. This sometimes happens with logging operations that cut beyond their boundary. But Fitzwilliam says he has never dealt with a ski area violation. We've been a partner with Bale for a long, long time. And um, although this is serious, we're committed to working together. They've been very responsive to everything we've needed. And he says Keystone will be on the hook for every dime. Every aspect of the restoration, if there's future analysis that needs to be done, they'll have to pay for that. This delay could even be enough to derail Keystone's plans for a new chairlift by this coming winter. It's not catastrophic ecologically or anything like that, but it's concerning to us, it's serious, but I think we can find a path forward to, uh, to make it right. Keystone quickly wrote a rehab plan, what the Forest Service is calling one of the most comprehensive it has ever seen. Installation is scheduled for this summer for opening next ski season. On May 20th, Summit County was bracing for the biggest snowstorm of the season. A basin was the only hill still open, and the forecast was calling for at least 14 inches. Chrissy and Casey up skiing from Boulder. We did uh, float the river in Golden last weekend in our bathing suits, so gotta love Colorado. Yeah, very different vibe this weekend, <laughs> basically polar opposite. Yeah. A basin ended up claiming 16 inches overnight, with another few inches in following days. Like a May blizzard, high country weather is always dramatic. But is it truly unpredictable? Veteran meteorologist Mike Nelson with Denver 7. It's all about upslopes and downslopes. And if the air is going uphill, it tends to uh, condense its moisture and produce rain or snow. If it's going downhill, it tends to warm up and dry out. This is Mother Nature's way of finding equilibrium. Craig Simpson, a former ski patroller and current manager at Dillon Marina. One of the biggest driving factors of our weather is that Lake Dillon is the bullseye of five different valleys that gives any atmospheric potential an opportunity to come ripping down one of those valleys. Their best advice to avoid the worst weather? Check the forecast and keep your eyes on the skies. Being prepared goes a long way. In other news from 2022, behavioral health provider MindSprings faced furious backlash in January when Colorado News Collaborative unveiled mismanagement and even discrimination at high country clinics. MindSprings is still piecing back together. Bright Healthcare of Minnesota stunned locals with a 49% rate hike in July. It was once the most affordable option in Summit. Three months later, Bright Health said it was leaving Summit completely, along with 14 other states. Town and county officials wrestled with housing and a record real estate market, where nearly $3 billion in sales meant the loss of historic workforce neighborhoods. Average rent today is two to three times higher than just a few years ago. Short-term rentals were often the scapegoat, 
Every town passed new rental fees or taxes, and Breck put a cap on STR licenses. Yet vacation rentals are Breck's new cash cow, a record $19 million and counting, good for nearly half of all town sales tax revenue. In sports, the Avalanche play the Coyotes tonight at 7. The Nuggets face the Kings at 8. Michaela Schifrin took first at today's World Cup giant slalom in Austria. Fellow American Paula Moltzan was 10th. Ladies are back tomorrow for another GS in Austria. World Cup men race downhill in Italy. And in local sports, we've got tons of new ski terrain to ring in the new year. At Breck, Peak 6 is now open. Imperial Chair is not. At Copper, Three Bears Chair and Resolution are open. A Chair on the far east side is closed. At Beaver Creek, Grass Mountain is open. At Vail, Game Creek Bowl is open with an upgraded 6 Chair. The nearby Sundown Chair is still under construction. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News from Vail Summit Orthopedics and Neurosurgery.